so you see we have the, the excavator here on site yesterday it started the process of um, excavating the footprint of the building uh -huh. was was the, the process from here what's well, happening first, now and where you go from here well the first thing we have to do is uh, we find all the, the building lines right? and then the actual footprint mm -hmm. of the building so what I normally do is get like three feet outside the footprint yeah. so you can get good work in the area right this particular um, lock, the lock, this soil here, a lot of people is want this soil. Mm -hmm. So what we have to do for for is dig off that first, tap it, and then now today now is when we come back now we digging out all these. We see got pockets. Yeah. All right. So that when we come, we put the mud in now. It's a mud, just a mud, and then it's out. You can understand so that you can get right. a, a good proper So you've, you've ex excavated to the to the bedrock. Now you're yeah. gonna level out using marl mar to and prepare. Compact. Yeah. It's gonna be compacted. Um, when you when you compact them mark, you just put like a, a foot, compact, a foot, mm. compact. Right? Because it's not good to just pour in more than compact because yeah. it's like front pockets. That's how comes you see some floors go like sediment cracks. Yeah. Or when the floor is sinking. Right. So what you normally do is like put on put down a foot of mark, compact it. Yeah. Then put down again. Well in a way where they got these deep holes, right? The roller that you normally use cannot get any gold. So we fold the whole right up. Yeah. Right? And then just let it off. So the compact thing that the, the roller now will just roll right through. Right. Right? And compact. Okay. So the, the marl fill now prepares the surface or uh, right. uh, the foundation. For the foundation. Surface. For the footing. For the footing. For the footing. Yeah. So Basically for the footing. If, yeah. if I do it like this here now, right? If I work with this, it will waste so much concrete. Yeah. Right? Because it steps up, down, up, down, and it will waste concrete. If you put in the mark, right. uh, you compact it and test it, right? And you get like 90, 97. You could use 97, the density in 97. Yeah. That's better 100. Right. So once you get that, right? You can put down your foot in box in everything. My foot in normally be below ground. Yeah. So that you won't see it projecting out of the ground. Okay. Yeah. Wait, so, explain that a little bit more. When you say below ground. Sorry, a lot of people are you know this this land in a slope. Mm -hmm. Right? So what's happening is that I will use this as my the, the highest point as my given point. Yeah. The floor. Yeah. What some people would do is just bring the mar level with the ground. Right. So when they bring the mar level with the ground now, they come and they put the foot in on top the on, on top the mar, uh -huh. that level you need, the, the footing kicking out of the ground. Gotcha. So, uh -huh. you so you got that work, no, 10 inches of footing sticking you above. See, you would actually see it to burn. Burst the pipe? Yeah, he burst the pipe. Would, you would see the footing sticking out of the ground. Right? I'm trying to find. Oh, look here. A similar example. Mm -hmm. look, look the house there. Yeah. You see the footing? You yeah. can actually see the step in it. Now they can't plaster that to cover it. Right. You get what I mean? And if you're going to dig it, dig it off now, that would be actually it will be creating a problem for the foundation. Yeah. So what I do, I keep my foot in, the top of my foot in below ground, so that when we fill, the, fill everything now, mm -hmm. you would not see the foot in. Gotcha, you yeah. So everything is left clean and nice. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So, because we put in a water tank in here now, all my pipes from the roof will run straight into this tank. Yeah. Right? And then it's an overflow to the well. Right. Right? So, you know, that, that's the process. That's this process. Yeah. Right. So, right, because we don't have water on the side now, we, we can do what we can do. I steal, I purchase the steel, the steel going down to my other side. Mm -hmm. And we can bend it, measure it, and we can bring them in, and then, and then right. just drop them in. Okay. Right? All right. Okay, Sean. So, from a, the perspective of a, of a home builder who is currently building a home and maybe at this same stage here where they are really contractors excavating and clearing the site and down to bedrock yeah. what would you advise um, a home builder to be looking for at this point when they come on site well once it, once ex excavation is going on I, I love for the homeowner to be on site because mm -hmm. one of the things that I even learned in Walburn College too right is that is tell you to actually dig the well first Right? Mm -hmm. So that you can actually see what material you're dealing with. But I mean this is St. George, so most most foundations in St. George yeah. is, is the solid rock. But one of the things you look for is like you look for like um crevices like cracks, right? That can lead to okay. um what's called like pockets. Yeah. Right. So that's why when you see we find a pocket, we dig it out. Yeah. Right? Because sometimes when you dig and you dig, you might end up seeing like a, a 
Kiev or something. So right. Only things is locked okay, down. so they're looking for pockets yeah. and, and making sure that the, the contractor kind of explores that pocket to make sure it's not deeper than, yeah. Correct. than, than expected. Than expected. All right. Yeah. Yeah. We will dig the well. You understand? So that that will even thing. But we all we know that this is this good. Right. This is good. So mm -hmm. but that's one of the main things you gotta look Okay. For. So looking looking for the, the, the pockets and, and, and crevices or or caverns that may be I know that they try to make sure too that it's clean out to clean, it must be cleaned properly. Mm -hmm. Right. Once you see it's great. Yes. Properly. Right. You know, right, so you're saying when when them. they do the first the excavation of the topsoil, we yeah. try to minimize having any any what soil. What do you see when they dig off that topsoil? Mm -hmm. They done there, mm -hmm. right? As you come here, so right. which is not a good practice, not a good nah, habit. Nah. Right, because that topsoil, when they dig off that topsoil, they get to that second layer. Mm -hmm. Right, if you don't move it out, you could get actual movement. Yeah. Right, and if you don't dig it out, you would right. not. Right, because the soil is unstable and it could start to settle. So you want you want to excavate down to rock and clear. Correct. Yeah.